Hi everyone, welcome back to African Real Estate. Today we are in Narepo Rungai. This locality is located exactly 26 kilometers from Nairobi CBD, which is actually a shorter distance from Nairobi CBD to Kenyatta Road or from Nairobi CBD to Kikuyu Town. But it has taken us one and a half hours to get from the CBD to this location. The county government of Kajiado needs to do something. The estate that we are in today contains 12 units and each unit is the three bedroom master and suit bungalow with a print area of 140 square meters. Each home has been built on a 40 by 80 lot of land and as you can see the estate is extremely beautiful. The price of each home in this estate is 6.5 million and it comes with an employee quarters at an extra cost, three car parking like this one and this is the main unit. As you can see, each home is a separate entity creating a micro environment for each family. I'll take you inside. From the entrance, you have this hallway that takes you to the bedroom areas. This is the living room, and as you can see from there, it's very well done. It comes with three average-sized windows for maximum natural light. I like it that you can see from there the craftsmanship of these gypsum ceilings. I like it that it comes with four circles on each edge, but this circle is not perfectly circular. And with my little OCD, I can't unsee that. The living room comes with sockets on all four sides to make it very easy for you to fix your furnitures when you move in. This living room opens to the dining area and as you can see from there, the dining area is big enough for an average family. The dining area comes with a wash basin and because it is green in color, it easily sets itself away from the living room. This dining area opens to the kitchen through this access. The kitchen is of an average size and it comes with this space for your refrigerator. The kitchen also comes with grey granite countertops and I like it that they have been done very well. The kitchen also comes with 8 socket pots for all your kitchen appliances. On this side you have the sink area. The sink area is a single sink and a space for you to dry your utensils. This space has been reserved for your gas cylinders and next to it you have a space for your cooking stove. This door will take you to the laundry area and the clothing area, but right now it's locked, so we will use the other side. This is the door from the kitchen and this is supposed to be your laundry area. The clothing area will be set up here. I'll take you back inside. From the laundry area, we are at the center of this unit. This is the shared toilet and this is the shared bathroom. We will see them first and later I'll show you the kids' bedrooms. This is the shared washroom and it comes with a water closet and a tissue holder. At the entrance of the shared bathroom, you have a wash basin. The shared bathroom is standard with all the necessary fixtures that you need and from here, we will see the second bedroom first and later, we will see the first bedroom. As much as this home is going for 6.5 million, I expect to see more. But let's wait and see the other bedrooms. Maybe we can see something different. This bedroom has been set up for the boys and that can be denoted by the dull colors. I don't know how the society concluded that the male gender likes dull colors but the new breed is just absurd. The closet to this bedroom is here and as you can see it will be sufficient for your boys. I like it that it comes with some sections here for the shoes. I'll show you the first bedroom. 
The first bedroom is slightly bigger than the second one. It is slightly brighter and it faces the front side of this home. The closet is just similar and it comes with a section here for the shoes. Spaces here for the hangable clothes. And the center section is just similar to this one. I'll show you the primary bedroom. At least I said something should be nice about this home. And this primary bedroom is slightly bigger, slightly better, and slightly well done. The bedroom comes with a massive closet for you and your partner, a dresser on my far front, and next to it, you have the primary bathroom. This bedroom comes with three windows, and this will give you the best morning sunshine, and this bedroom is very well lit. As you can see from there, this closet will be enough for all your clothing, and here you have a section for the shoes. The dresser is here, and the primary bathroom is the biggest, It comes with a WC, a wash basin, a towel holder, and this space has been reserved for your showers. For now, the shower head is missing. I'll talk to the developer to fix them as up, otherwise you'll need to come here clean. That's all for this bedroom. We have come to the end of the tour. If you have enjoyed everything or if there is something that you didn't like, make sure you comment below. That's all for today and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.